let me show you how easy it is to actually create a segment. So I'm going to use this ride uh, from April. And uh, let's see here. It's, it's fairly easy. You just go down to the bottom, click on segments, click create a segment, and you go through your ride and you kind of narrow down where you're at. You know, if you're looking at what mile, like let's say I want to do, let's see, let me see something where there might be some other people here. Let's say I want to go from here and from here to uh, from here from here to here and see where I like. This is uh, let me see here from here to here. That's a let's see here maybe from here to here. Okay, so I, so I narrow the segment. It shows you the um, green is where it's starting. The red is where it's finishing. So I want to, let's see, it's only 0.42 miles. I want to name it. So I'm going to name it just the one street that I can see. Lorraine uh, Quickie. Quick. Okay, segment type, uh, let's put other, surface, that's a paved road, and you click save. Now, you just created your first segment on Garmin Connect, and there it is. It'll show you your rank. Uh, well, I don't even rank on my own segment, but this is because it's still being created, and uh, I should check back later. Most likely, I will be number one, because I might be the only one who crossed that segment, but it's really super quick and super easy. So I don't know, keep that in mind. There are other options besides the apps you're using now. And if you have a Garmin device especially, um, it's a nice free way. Because I know that uh, Strava um, charges for some of these premium features and for to narrow down these different groups. Uh, you might have to sign up for a pro account. But if you buy a Garmin device, you already basically have a pro account because they give you access to all the features they have. At least that's what I what I assume.